If you think this summer's extreme heat and wildfires are a one-off, think again. The public can expect to see more instances like this, more, more summers where you have these more frequent heat, heat waves or longer heat waves. And if you combine that with a period of where there just happens to be less precipitation, well then you're gonna have a, a higher frequency of um, you know, really conducive fire weather. Temperatures in this region are already two degrees higher than the average for the 20th century, and they're projected to go up by almost another two degrees by 2050. We cannot say that climate change caused such an event, but climate change could certainly increase the odds of having something like we have seen in New Brunswick. In Miramichi, the scene of the biggest fire, temperatures from August 11th to 14th were 7.2 degrees warmer than average. And in Moncton, they were 5.8 degrees warmer during the same period. Moncton has had 11 days so far this year with temperatures above 30 degrees. That's eight more than the average. Another trend attributed to climate change is more precipitation. And generally, this soaks the ground and it offsets the dryness from the extreme heat. But in a year where precipitation fluctuates so that it's lower, like this year, the hotter weather can make the forest drier, dangerously drier. In the future, even though we are projecting that precipitation will steadily increase in the, in the eastern part of the country, the, the, the increase in temperature will be much more. So precipitation at some point won't be able to cancel out the increase in temperature. So we will see an increase in, in, in fire activity in the, in the Maritimes. And it is going to get hotter. Look at this image from the CBC News Climate Dashboard. Under various emission scenarios, temperatures will continue to rise. And even here in the Maritimes, which is traditionally known as a wetter part of the country, uh, the probability of um, a fire is expected to increase by two to three fold by the end of the century with, uh, with the warming, the level of warming that's expected. So that's not to say that it's gonna happen, but it's just that the probability of it happening is, is increasing because of the conditions are there now with climate change. Projections show burn areas could double or even triple in size. And in a province where a lot of people live in or near the woods, that's a problem. We agree that this is something that we can expect to see more frequently in the future. Premier Susan Holt says the province is moving to adapt to this new reality. And what do we need to do when we build, when we build communities uh, to make sure that they are uh, resilient and sustainable and that we're, we're creating the kind of, building the kind of province that, uh, that can, can live into the future under the conditions that are forecast to be warmer, drier, and have more of these things occurring. At the same time, Holt's government is promoting several big energy projects, including some that would put more climate warming greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Last year, Holt promised a more robust carbon price for industry to get emissions down, but there's been no talk of that during this summer of fire.